In previous video, I have shown you how I can send all the mixed signal from the X32 or the M32 to the main output and from the main output, send to the PC for your Facebook Live, YouTube Live or OBS. So this video, I will show you a more at once. What if I need to play a minus one track from the PC to the console and we have instrument and vocal to be mixed together and from my main output, I can send to my house system and a separate faders which I can control back the signal to send back to my PC for Facebook Live, YouTube Live. So this is how we're going to do it. Before we start the video, I have a request. Please like our Facebook page, AV Electronics Marketing, and also subscribe to the YouTube channel, same name, AV Electronics Marketing. Thank you very much. So to make things easier to understand, so you can check this diagram for full understanding on how the signal flows. So in the laptop, it's important for us to send the proper signal for the playback to the console. But the most complicated one is the routing within the console itself. How we're going to make sure we receive the playback in channel 1 or 2, in this case, from the PC as well as other local or stage box inputs from the performer or the instrument and make sure all the signal is sent to the front of house via the main in this case is output 15 and 16 and we have a separate output back to the PC for the live streaming and in this case is output 13 and output 14 Firstly, we need to set the PC so that anything minus one play from the PC can be sent to the console via the card. So in this case, we are going to send to the card number one and number two. So how we can do that, we can go to the sound setting here in the windows. From here, after you install the driver, all this will appear here. So for this example, we have the XUF card. So for the newer version, we are using the XUSB and XLive. So this is a special case because the XUF can display up to 8 channels. But for XUSB and XLive, there's only 2 channels. So in this example, we are just using the OUT1 and 2. So by setting the output, whatever I play, the minus 1 from the player within the PC will be sent to the console to this cut channel 1 and 2. So first we need to set the main output to my front of house system. This is normally what we do. We can go to the routing under the output tab just to make sure 15 and 16 is set to my left and right. Depending on whether this is a physical from the board output or to the stage box, you can set via the AESA or AESB that is to the stage box or the XLR output for the physical output. So to ensure that the 15 and 16 main left and right is going to the stage box, in this example AESA, I have to just to make sure the output 9 to 16 is going to 9 to 16 of AESA. So we can see from here, actually 15 and 16 is my la main left and right. So if I want to set to the physical XLR at the back, so I just need to make sure this output 13 to 16 is set correctly to 13 to 16 for the XLR output. And we can see from here to double confirm that 15 and 16 is main left and main right. So with this, I can either uh, connect the front of house system to my physical at the back 15 and 16 or to my AESA 15 and 16. We are going to use output 13 
and I'll put 14 as a matrix 1 and 2. So this is the left and right signal to the PC for my live streaming. So first thing I need to go to output 13 to set to matrix 1. Yes, you can see from here I have set to matrix 1 and output 14 to matrix 2. So these two I will be using this to send back to PC and I can use to control volume for my live streaming. So now we are going to set the input from the PC and we are going to set the output to the PC as well. So what we can do using this version firmware 4, you can go to this tab, user tab, and I have an input and output. So I have to set the input first. I just have to make sure that my input from the PC 1 and 2 is from cut. So I have set here cut 1 for input 1 because I have set from the PC right is from 1 and 2 and for number 2 I have set to cut 2 and subsequently I need to follow back input 3, input 4, input 5, input 6, input 7 and input 8. So this one I need to set because this is come in cluster of 8. So if I didn't set then you are wasting your channels here so i leave it to you to set everything so this is the input side how we are going to get the signal from the pc to play the minus one okay to send back the signal to the pc for live streaming so we need to go to output just press this button and we go to the output side what interests us is the one and two because we need to set the I'll put 1 and 2 in the live streaming software. So what we have set here is output 13 for output 1 and output 14 for output 2. So these two we already have set as matrix 1 and 2. With this, I can use the matrix 1 and 2 to control the volume that I send to the PC for live streaming. So I have a separate now. I have a main left and right to control my front of house system and i have a matrix one and two to control my live stream volume so after we done on the user part we need to make sure the user is used for our assignment so for the input side we need to make sure the user one to eight is selected from one to eight which means just now the one and two is from the cut the rest is from the local input. So the rest of this, we just follow back to the local because what we need is from the local, it's not from the user. It's that simple. And to send back the signal to the cut because we are doing live stream in the PC. Ma. So we need to go to the cut and select back the user out 1 to 8. Just now we already set. And the rest, we just leave it as normal and we can see actually you can see one and two of this one to eight is from matrix one and two and other is empty because we didn't set anything so for that we doesn't need concern so after we finish setting everything in the console so now we are back into the pc to do the live streaming part so you can go to our facebook and you can select the live here Then you come to this page, then click this one, use camera. I can select my webcam, you can see me, hello. Then the microphone, you can select the XUF Wave 1 and 2. If you are using USB, then choose the XUSB 1 and 2. If you are using XLive, then you choose XLive 1 and 2. If you are using the Midas, the DN32 live then you can choose that but one and two so once you done that actually you can start to see the signal is coming in so if i try to speak louder hello check one two hey hey one two one two so the signal is coming in so prove that the audio is going to this uh, live so what is left here now is just press this button to go 
live. And that's how we send our signal to front of house and back to the PC for live streaming and receive the signal from PC S-1 playback.